Large railway is a disgrace. Trains run late or not at all. The service provider is embarrassing and it isn't making a single shilling. You'll go and keep an eye on that railway, Mr. Isle. Understood? Yes, of course, Mr. Eastlake. You are the best inspector we have, and should that blasted railway even break the smallest of all rules in your presence, that is it. The end. If I'd built the Great Eastern Railway up to its fine elevation, you'd not have its reputation ruined by the silly little line. I'll go and start immediately. River Deven flanked along the railway to Aldborough. Fresh air and a full head of steam made it seem a fine day. Eventually they arrived into the pretty little station by the sea. Ah, here's Arthur Curtin, the DVLR's general manager. Morning, Rennie. How is River Deven today? Hello, Mr. Curtin. She's steaming very well today, but she's awful thirsty. We've used a lot of water. I'd better go and get the train ready for the flying spread. Come along, Dom. Dom uncoupled the loco from the carriages, and Rene took River Deven to the siding where the fish fan stood. The next train was the flying spread, a special express service for taking fresh fish to the market each day. fish van was coupled up and everything was ready. Where's Nat? He needs to be here to take his fish to market. There he is, out at sea still. He'll be at least half an hour. We'll wait though. We won't make any money otherwise. We don't make any money anyway. Uh, should that be water leaking from there? Water was leaking from one of the side tanks and onto the track. So that is why we're using so much water. We'll fill up now and we'll be fine. Er, uh, um, you'll have a problem with that. The water tower isn't working. Water bills and that. We need to fill the tanks now. Get anything that holds water and we'll take it from next door's garden tap. Hurry! There was a flurry of activity as buckets, milk churns, basins and cans were filled and tipped into the side tanks. No one noticed the arrival of Victor Isle, the railway inspector, who stood silently and watched. A piece of rag had been stuffed into the hole in the tanks which slowed the leaking, and at last the tanks were full again. That's enough. Ah, and here's Nat. Give us out of these bloody boxes of fish air, eh? <coughs> Mr. Curtin, a word please. I am a railway inspector, and already I am not pleased. This train is now an hour late to depart, and you appear to have just filled the tanks with a watering can. This railway's future is looking very grim indeed, unless you can improve immediately. You can't just surprise us like this. You should have given us warning or something. I may do what I wish. Now if you're ready to depart, I will be boarding the train. Thanks for the help, mate. Sorry I was late, I had bloody engine troubles. You think you had engine troubles? What have I missed? I'll explain on the way to Buckley, but we really must be departing. The train was now finally ready to go, and with Nat, Victor Isle, Dom and the fish safely on board, the whistle blew and the train clanked out of Albra, leaving Arthur on the platform. Hmm. Today of all days. Today of all ruddy days. <laughs>